In this video, I'm going to give you a quick insight on how to find areas work done using the maths method. Now, if you see this in the past year, uh, then they ask you to find the work done. Please use the boxes, uh, count the boxes to find the area. So this pink color one, you if they will give you a graph paper, you just count the box to find the area. Lah. If it's as you find green one, you count the boxes to find area. But how would you use maths to help you find the area? Just for fun, let us explore that. So remember first thing, if you want to find the area under the PV curve, there's this thing called integration. So you find area, you are integrating the function of P with respect to V. Mm. Let's say I want to find the pink, the purple color area. What's it called? Yeah, the purple color area. So I'm going to just highlight that to remind you. So the purple color area, we define it as negative work done. So negative W equals to, how will we write this out? So we can say integrate from VA, see the direction of the arrow on the left side, to VB. But what, what is P though? Aha, remember our equation is PV equals to NRT. So you can rearrange and say P equals to NRT over V. That is the function you are trying to integrate nrt over v so let's put that in here there's a bunch of constants so i'm going to take those out n r are constants temperature here because you're moving along the isothermal curve of 300 kelvin so temperature is also constant that leaves with just one over v inside there okay so when you integrate one over v you get what we call the natural log ln v and you can leave this outside. So this will be VB, VA. So if we plug in the values, we will get NRT ln VB minus ln VA. And this can be combined into NRT ln VB over VA. Isn't this beautiful? It's actually an equation that can help you calculate the work done if you know VB and VA. So, I mean, during exam, count the area because they don't assume you to know this and this will not be in the mark scheme. So, so, but if you have time during exam, you could stare at this thing. If you remember how this equation looks like, you could plug in some values just to check, just for fun. Okay. So yeah, just for fun, you can try this out and see how you can find area under the curve with this beautiful integral, uh, integrated equation right here. Okay. So that's... Fun to do. Maybe in the future, if you do engineering or some kind of things like that, you'll be doing things like this. Okay, so that's all for this further physics video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.